Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add post pagination to your blogger website. So in the previous two videos, I showed you how to create this pagination from scratch using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So if you want to learn how to do this, you can watch those videos. I will leave the link in the description of this video. So this is how it works. We can see there's some content over here. And this is the first page. And if you click on the second page, we have the content of the second page displayed over here. And if you click on the third page, we have the content of the third page displayed over here. Now these page numbers are dynamically created using JavaScript. So it will depend on the number of pages that we have in our post. Now in this video, I'll show you how to divide your post into multiple pages in your blogger website and also how to add this pagination. So let's get started. So here I'm in the dashboard of my blogger website and uh, let's go ahead and create a new post. So I'll just click on new post and I will just add a title over here. So I'll just type a long post and I will just go to the compose view and uh, here you can go ahead and start writing your content. So I'll just add some text over here. So here I'm in lipsum.com. Let's just generate some uh, text. So I'll just click on generate lorem ipsum and uh, let's copy this from here. And let's paste it in our post and I'll just select everything and uh, change it back to the default font. So you can go ahead and create your content just like you do always. You can use these options over here or you can even upload your own images over here in your post. So let's upload an image. Let's click on choose files. Let me just upload one of these images from here. So I'll just upload this one right here. And let's select it and click on select. Right, so the image has been uh, inserted. Let's change it to X large and click on update. All right, so this is our post. We have added some text and uh, an image. Now let's see how to change this into a multi-page post. So for that, you have to make some changes in the HTML. So let's go over here to this button and click on HTML view. This is the HTML of our post. And uh, here we have to make some changes. And let's see what are the changes we need to make. So let's go to the source code and I will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. So here we can see we have this division with the class of page content. And in that we have divisions with the class of page and uh, these are the different pages. So we have one division with the class of page over here. If you scroll down, we have another and in total we have three pages. So whenever we want to divide our post into pages, we have to add these divisions. And we have to add this container division called page content for that. So let's copy these two lines of code from here. And uh, let's go to the start. And I'll just paste it over here. So here we have the page content division and also the page division. And the first division is active. So we have this active class over here. I have explained all of this in detail in the previous videos. So if you don't understand any of this, you can watch those videos. All right, now we have to decide which of these content we want to divide into different pages. So if you go back to the compose view, here is our content and let's go ahead and add the second page after the second paragraph over here. So we will have this first paragraph, this image and the second paragraph in the first page. So you can just search for this last word in uh, the HTML and just close the division after that. So let's go back to the HTML view. So here we can see this is the first paragraph and it ends over here. And then we have this image. And after that, we have another paragraph which starts over here. And this is where it ends. So let's add some space over here. And now here we have to close this division right here. So division with the class of page. So let's close that over here. So I'll just type less than forward slash div. All right, so this division has been closed over here. So basically this is our first page in our post. Now in the same way to add the other page, we have to create another division with the class of page. So here we'll create another division with a class of page. And for the second page, we don't need to have the active class. And uh, let's end this after uh, one paragraph. So I think this is where the paragraph ends. So let's close it over here. Now in the same way, we will add one more page. So I'll just copy this and uh, paste it over here. And I just go to the end of our content. And I think Blogger has already added these closing divisions over here. So let's make some space. 
All right, so we have closed this division and also the main container division, which is page content. So we have these two closing divisions over here. Now we have divided our post into multiple pages. So this is one page, this is another page, and uh, this is the first page. All right, that's basically it with our post. Now let's click on publish and click on confirm. And our long post has been published. So let's view it. This is how it looks right now. Now we need to add the CSS and the JavaScript to make everything work. So let's go back and let's go to the theme. And let's click on this arrow and click on edit HTML. First of all, let's add the CSS. So I'll just go to the CSS section. So this is all the CSS of the theme. Let's go to the end of the CSS. All right, so this is where the CSS ends. Let's go ahead and add a comment. So I'll just type pagination. And let's paste the CSS over here. So let's go back to our source code. And uh, let's go to style.css. And we'll copy everything from this line onwards to the end of the CSS. Right now, let's copy this and paste it over here. All right, the CSS has been copied. Now, the next thing we need to do is to add the JavaScript. So let's go to the end of our theme code. And let's add a script tag to add the JavaScript. So I'll just type script and close this over here. And let's go back to our source code and we'll go to the main.js file. So this is all the CSS for our pagination. Right now let's copy all of this from here and we'll just paste it inside the script tag right here. And our JavaScript has been copied. And we also need to add some HTML to our post. So we can see in our index.html we also need to add this to our post. So let's copy this and let's just save this. And let's go back and go to the post. And let's go to the end of the post and paste it over here. Right now, let's click on update. And let's see whether the pagination is being displayed. So let's go back to our post and let's refresh this page. And here we can see the pagination is being displayed and we have added three pages in our post. So there we can see three page numbers. And let's click on the second page number. And we can see that the second page is being displayed over here. And let's click on the third page number. And the third page is being displayed over here. So everything is working all right. So that's how you add post pagination to your blogger website. Now one problem with adding the JavaScript to our theme code is that if you go to any other post. So let's go over here and uh, let's open this post right here. And uh, let's right click over here and click on inspect. And let's go to the console. And here we can see we have an error. Cannot read property class list of this uh, item right here called create pagination. So we have this error over here because we don't have the pagination inside this post. We have it only in this post right here. So in that we don't have any errors. Now to get rid of the error, you have to go ahead and add a simple if condition. So let's go back to our theme code. And let's go to edit HTML. And let's scroll to the end where we have the JavaScript. And here we can see we are referencing some of the elements over here. We have pages and page numbers container. So what we can do is we can check whether any of these elements is available on the page. And if there is any of these elements present on the page, then we can execute the rest of the code. So let's add an if condition over here. So I'll just type if, and uh, here we'll just type page numbers container. And this will make sure that the page has this element. We had added this in the HTML of our post when we created the pagination. And let's close the if condition after the last line of the code. Right, so now we shouldn't have any errors on the other pages because we are executing these lines of code only if we have this page numbers container element on the page. So let's click on save. And first of all, let's check whether the pagination is still working. So let's refresh this page. And we have the pagination and everything is working all right. Let's go to another page and let's refresh this page. Now let's right click over here and inspect and see whether we have any errors. And now we can see we don't have any errors on the other pages. Now there's one issue that I see with this page numbers button is that when I click on the second page number, 
we can see that it doesn't scroll to the top of the page so we have to manually go ahead and scroll up and it happens with all the page numbers so for that we can just add a single line of javascript and it will work so let's go back to our theme code and i'll just add that line of code and let's click on edit html so let's scroll down to the javascript and uh, this is the function that takes care of uh, the pagination so here in this function i'll just add one more line of code so here i'll just type window dot scroll and here you can specify the x and the y coordinates of the screen so i'll just type zero zero and uh, let's save it and uh, let's refresh this page and let's click on the second page number and we can see we are taken back to the top of the page and let's click on the third page number and we are again taken back to the top of the page so that's basically how you add post pagination to your blogger website all right so that's it for this video i will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video and if you want to check out how to create this post pagination from scratch and how the code works you can watch my previous videos i will leave the link of those in the description as well so if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.